Hi, I'm here with James Southby, the site manager at the Blenheim Palace Rose Theatre. Hi, James. Hi. This is the first time we've built the theatre here at Blenheim. Have there been any particular problems associated with building it here? Uh, I think our biggest challenge has probably been just getting everything over the railway. Uh, so there's a, a small railway that runs from the palace to the pleasure gardens. Um, getting all our vehicles over that was a bit of a challenge in the planning, working out where to build a level crossing across the railway to do that. And also uh, it was very wet for the first week or ten days. Um, the, uh, some of the scaffolders had to, had to work in the rain for most of a 12-hour day. Um, so they were, they were pretty wet. Um, it makes conditions a bit harder to work in. But, um, yeah, we've other than that, it's been uh, quite... a quite an enjoyable experience and obviously because of the the railway track getting the general public across has been a slight problem as well yeah we had to build a bridge over the railway line to get the public across all our patrons across and in and out of the theatre safely um, that uh, didn't seem to phase the, the scaffolding company too much but it's another little feature that we've put in built it in the same style as the rest of the building so it ties in quite nicely with uh, with the theatre itself most of the theatre is uh, constructed with scaffolding. Um, is it a special type of scaffolding? Uh, so we use a scaffolding type of uh, a scaffold type called layer. Um, so it's a, it's a bit like Meccano, really, uh, grown up Meccano, um, and um, it pieces together. You get sections in all sorts of different sizes. Uh, you can make any shape. Uh, it's very strong, very user definable, very adjustable um, to to do whatever you want with it. Um, and then we clad that uh, in a tin sheeting with uh, with some wood, and we lay wooden floors on top of it. And there's also a sort of red tin roof, um, which gives it quite a nice uh, quite a nice look from the outside. So what's the most people you've had on site at any one time? Do you know? We've had in excess of 50 people here quite often, um, probably hitting a maximum of 60 or 70 at, at one point or, or another. Um, at points there's over 40 cast in the two across the two companies um, and then that with the backstage crew and the, the rest of the build crew still building the village, um, technical team on site. Um, I'd say yeah, we're, we're regularly around the 60-70 mark at the moment. Once it's actually running there'll be more like 40 or 50 people here every day um, but uh, early on in the build there was um, at least 50 scaffolders here for several days in a row just getting the structure in and, and making sure it was all secure and safely built. The, the, the run here is until sort of early September I think isn't it um, what's, uh, what's going to happen with the uh, structure after, after that do you know? So it takes us a month to build once the, uh, once the season's finished we'll take it down in about 10 days um, all the scaffolding is uh, reused so it's just a, a, a rental of the rel relevant scaffolding components that will just get used on other projects um, the tin that comes off the sides uh, the majority of that will get reused any sections that have been cut down or made to a specific size will, um, will be um, discarded but uh, the rest of the, the sheeting, the roofing, any full sheets will just get stored and reused hopefully for, um, for other events next summer uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, I think that's all our questions so, uh, so thanks, thanks very much for uh, letting us uh, film here No problem, thanks for showing an interest, it's been great to meet you that's okay. that's great. Thanks very much